Welcome back, guys. Um, I did a video uh, uh, regarding uh, GT Linux, and I did it on my uh, computer with the NVIDIA graphics, and I don't think it did it. It did the distribution justice <clears throat> because the uh, many of the codecs uh, required for smooth operation and proper video recording uh, were not installed and that that was an oversight on my part I didn't see the uh, documentation um, that was included with the distribution uh, until after I had made the video so uh, I decided to as I mentioned in that video I have uh, GT Linux installed on both of my computers now this is the <clears throat> lesser of the two. This is my uh, second computer. Uh, it has uh, built-in Intel graphics and uh, 8 gigs of RAM. Nothing fancy. Uh, it's got an i3 processor. But uh, I installed, basically, uh, as I explained in the first video, I installed Arch through Architect, followed along with um, Midfinger's YouTube video which was very clear and concise. After I finished the install um, I followed his instructions to import uh, his GT Linux information from GitHub and uh, it was a really easy process. Uh, he did a wonderful job and so and I'm a little bit more familiar with the architect installer now so I have a much easier time one of the things that I, I found that uh, makes installation of arch easier is if you preformat your petitions uh, so if you for example I was doing a UEFI install so I preformatted a small EFI boot petition an ext4 data petition or root petition and a small swap petition so when I was going through the install I just went down to mount petitions and one if you just go all the way down to the list and select mount petitions if you have preformatted your hard drive uh, it basically asks you okay what petition do you want to use for root what petition do you want to use for boot do you want to use a swap petition and then you just designate the petitions that you created <laughs> makes it a lot easier so uh, in the first video I um, heaped a lot of praise on the distribution and uh, all of that praise is justified um, as you can see this is what you see when you boot in okay first you, you when you boot your machine and you select uh, Arch you'll come to a uh, login screen a GT Linux login screen where you'll enter your username and your password once you do that there is an audible um, chime uh, login chime which is pretty neat and uh, it brings you to this screen now this desktop uh, pops up in the top left corner uh, and that's pre-configured but you can disable it you can dismiss it for this session and have it come back on the next session um, it's really up to you so if you right click it and you say quit this folder view it will disappear now the desktop wallpapers are set to cycle I believe once per minute uh, it is a nice collection of desktop wallpapers so I'm going to leave it uh, for now now uh, I'm going to go through this one more time because I don't think the first video was done properly. So let's take a look uh, right to left. Um, the American flag basically just designates your location. Um, your, then you've got the LXDE boot screen, shut down, typical. Uh, this is uh, a uh, lock screen button then you've got the clock volume got a nice little weather uh, applet running uh, down on the system tray so that's pretty nice that's it's all already installed you just have to enter your location 
then I've got uh, Kazam running here this is my uh, I'm running up on an Ethernet connection but as you can see my wireless networks were picked up right out of the box really nice now this computer has basically built-in um, graphics it's got a uh, wireless card that is really generic so it picked up everything fine on my other computer I had to load up uh, Broadcom uh, drivers for my wireless and I had to load up NVIDIA for my NVIDIA graphics card uh, you've got the update manager uh, and once you install go through the updates to make sure you have everything installed uh, then you've got a, a clipboard manager you've got your network configurations and a little CPU uh, meter so that you can keep track of CPU usage Okay, move, then you've got a w open windows uh, on your panel. Chrome is pre-installed. Terminal. Uh, and then you've got... This basically closes your windows. So, as you can see. Let's see if I can get that back. Okay, and there's GUVC view back up top. And then you've got your file manager. Now, let's see, I think I changed this to PC Man FM, uh, but uh, it comes pre configured with Thunar. Now, when you open Thunar, it's going to show no menu up top. To bring the menu up back up, just press Control M. Now, the reason I, um, I say that is because it's in the instructions. And so if you install uh, GT Linux, make sure after your install, or uh, in some cases, you, there's some before you begin information here, but especially after you install, there's a couple of post-install listings here that you really need to go through. It will uh, clean up your system post install and also it will add uh, a lot of video codecs that you'll need uh, and I didn't have those installed which is why my first video was uh, a little bit on the uh, inferior side. Okay so menu comes with out of the box slings cold if you like this type of menu you'll be happy this is not what I normally use uh, it, it seems a little cumbersome to me so um, I don't use it uh, so I installed a typical LXDE menu now as far as software the accessories uh, basically are all what uh, I installed Nemo uh, to test another file manager but um, if you if you see what's here that's basically what it comes with out of the box you've got a clipboard manager leaf pad archiver so um, that's your accessories chrome apps because chrome is pre-installed you get the chrome apps to go with it graphics is just an image viewer you can add what you need internet is just google chrome you can add what you need programming sound and video I added GUVC view and Kazam uh, I had some issues with LX music but I think it had to do with the codex not being added uh, and so let me see if I can open that and it's not opening for some reason so I don't know what the what the issue is with LX music um, you can see the it's trying to but for some reason it's not opening so you can replace that with whatever you prefer I'm gonna install Banshee um, so let, let's see and uh, I installed OpenShot Pulse Audio and QT Test Utility was already there System Tools you have um, the all the typical uh, tools that you need I uh, G parted I believe G parted was installed yeah it was and uh, preferences you've got all basically it's LXDE preferences 
Um, now on my other computer I installed Redshift without a problem. I installed uh, P-Sensor. Uh, so I don't think you'll have any issues with anything you might want to add but um, there's a, a good variety of uh, software and um, uh, control applications already installed. Now the LXDE Control Center will bring up all of your uh, typical control or configuration options uh, and your startup menus are in LX session, auto start. Uh, these are all pre-configured. I have not added anything to this yet but you can. You can add um, your redshift or p-sensor to, to auto start if they don't configure themselves properly. You've got your core applications. Now Compiz is the window manager. Um, X screensaver, so you, all the uh, minimum requirements are covered. Now one of the things that I noticed, let's see, I'm going to close this out. If you right click and go into desktop preferences and desktop icons, um, they don't show. So evidently they're disabled because of this wallpaper if you I think if you uh, disable the wallpaper changer uh, then you could have your desktops on the your icons on the desktop but actually I like the way it is so I'm gonna leave it alone it, it is unique um, it's, it's configured in such a way it's really not uh, similar to anything that's out there um, and I think it really makes uh, the uh, arch experience a lot more interesting okay and so you've got the uh, typical logout LXDE logout screen and everything uh, appears to be running nicely now as I mentioned uh, this was this was configured by midfinger now he was recommended this was recommended to me back, from one of my uh, from back, one guys. of my uh, actually a couple of uh, viewers who uh, thought that I would be interested in, t in taking a look at it now if you go into um, midfinger into his channel and let's see if I can get there if you go into his channel bring up his videos you will see that he has a complete video on installing Arch and his Linux GT now I'm gonna click on that basically what he's doing is he walks you through an Arch install using evolution which um, now it's basically architect that you would use so if you follow this video and you get all the way to uh, reboot then once arch is installed then he also takes you through the installation of his Linux GT now the Linux GT is kept in a repo at github which he walks you through exactly how to import all of those files and configuration options uh, and he does a wonderful job walking you through that so I highly recommend that you take a look at this video um, he's done a, a really nice job and he does a lot of nice arch videos so um, I, I highly recommend uh, taking a look at his work but um, I think you'll be happy with it as I said it was recommended to me by a couple of my viewers and uh, I do appreciate that feedback so guys uh, good luck with the arch install and uh, take a look at Linux GT I think you'll be happy uh, to try it and uh, it's configured very nicely so that's it for this video guys uh, again the first video was not configured properly uh, the install uh, was done on my computer with NVIDIA graphics and all of the codecs had not been installed which is why I went back and made this 
second video. So guys, take care. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon.